Hi, welcome to the second of five series of five types of drag and drop activities. All right, uh, if you want to know the how to do the first type, which is to drag boxes, uh, pictures into categories, right? You can click on the wordings here. Okay, it will bring you to the video. So for this second series, it is about being able to drag words into blanks, fill the blanks type. Okay, only words that you want students to drag are movable. Okay, while other things in the background will not be movable, including titles and instructions and any other thing. Okay, so this is the second type of drag and drop, fill in the blank. Let's click subscribe at the bottom and type in the comments, I subscribe. All right, let's begin. All right, first thing to do is to create the folder that you would like to save the drag and drop activity in, in your Google Drive. So click on new folder, okay, and then you can paste the name, the second of fill in blank. This demonstration is about, it's about um, drag and drop activity to fill in blanks within a paragraph or in a picture, okay? Okay, so here we go. Next, within the folder, create your Google Slide file, a blank one. By clicking on the new on the top left hand corner, click on Google Slides, create a blank new Google Slide file will be opened up. With the blank file, it's good to type in the name of the file first. Okay, by clicking on the name at top left hand corner and then I will have already prepared my name. Just paste to make it fast. Okay, next will be to find the first um, activity okay for the first page so what i'll do is i've actually planned out in my google sheet okay uh the the list of things that are uh, the list of uh slide pages of activities for this drag and drop okay i have five activities here okay so now i'll only show one activity which is the distance and placement okay so what i'll do is distance and placement go over back to my file and then i'll type in the title Right, as usual, like the title to be a beautiful font and um, visible size 24. And like to highlight this as the title by creating the outline of the box okay. by clicking on the line and a uh, prominent color pink. Cool, and I would like to keep it in the center of the box. There you go. All right. So this will be the title of the, the page, and I would like to now select the activity. I've pre-selected in a folder, okay, my hard disk, some pictures that I want to use for the for this activity. If you want to find out how you can find and cut out pictures that you need exactly to the size that you want, just click on the link on top. Okay, the wordings will bring you to a video that will show you exactly how to snip it any pictures from your screen. Now, we'll go on to show you the steps on creating the first um, activity. Okay, this is the first activity I've selected, distance and displacement. Click and show you what's the plan. Okay, what I'm going to do is to cut out those words that I want to make draggable. Okay. And this draggable words will be able to fill into a, this a, the same space that it is cut up from. So let's proceed on to show you step by step. First, I will copy the folder where this picture is found. Next, I will find the app or program it's called Pane and it's found in most of computers. Click on it, open it. And now you will open that particular file. Okay. This is folder. Yeah, paste up the folder page on top. Okay, 
and this particular one is the one I want to use. Next, I would like to have a bigger view of it so that I can be more precise. So I click on view, zoom in. Next, I have to create a selection device. Okay, this will be a selection tool. So what I'll do is with this selection tool, I put at the corner of the word that I want to cut out. And then release. Next is the magic, the important one. Put the cursor on the box that you have uh, highlighted. Okay, I'll right click and cut. It will disappear. So this is the word that you want. Go back to your file. And on top of the page, you just have to right click and paste. So on this one, okay, there you go. The picture is over here. And this is the draggable word that I want. Okay. Go back there, space there. Next picture, next word that I want to cut out is this. Release it. I will do short form by doing Control X on my keyboard. All right. And then go back there and Control V to paste. Cool. Then we can, I can do this very, very quickly. So I want another word, the distance, okay, to be cut out. Release, Control X. But then, back here, click. Control V. There you go. We'll keep doing this until we get all the movable words back on this page. I've cut out and pasted two more words here. So now I'm ready to paste the background. Back there, this picture already all the words cut out. So what I'll do is I will cut the entire piece. Okay, to the exact size that is needed. Okay. creating the box around all the words okay this time now i will cut again go back to the page but because i do not want the student to be able to move that page so what i'll do is that i will insert it in the view master as you learn from cv1 okay if you want to know how cv1 is done the drag and drop all right that is done for pulling pictures into categories okay you can click on the uh, words on top, right? They will bring you to the video to do it. So now, in this master, okay, you just have to click Control V and paste the picture here. Cool. So what I want is, in fact, I don't need distance and uh, displacement. So I just double click. Okay, I can shift this down to remove displacement, distance and displacement. Cool. And I want it to be the full size here. We will need to leave some space on top for the draggable words, the boxes to be placed. So this size should be just right. Cool. So, but now I'll let emphasize that this is space where you drag the words into by creating the outline. Prominent color and with a prominent size. So now you can see the box here. If there's one more thing that we need to pull over, okay, by clicking the page, you will come back to the same, the original, right? That is the title of the slides. We also do not want the student to move this by clicking Control X. Okay, you cut it off from the front page and you go back into the master to paste it. So in this case, the students will not be able to move this back there by clicking here okay now this is not clickable nothing is clickable except the words for dragging okay so you may want to shift this around but because these words are actually different size from the pages okay so it doesn't really fit what we need to do is to reduce the size with and because they are pictures you can you can just adjust it accordingly all right. Cool. 
So this placement is here. This sentence is supposed to be here. I've shifted and readjusted the sizes of all the words back into the whole picture. Now is to be able to make them permanent. Okay. So what I do is I'll click on all the words needed to be shifted and create a text box around it. Outline. Okay, so now you can see that all the text boxes have outlined. Now we'll move all the boxes out. I've shifted all the boxes of words to be dragged on top nicely. Then next, we'll create boxes to indicate where are the places the box the the answers supposed to be. Cool. So what you do is by going into the master page, clicking onto a square shape to be added. And this is the first location. And then you can keep doing that. Second location. So the location. I created all the blank boxes in the right places. Okay, so now just take a look at how it looks like. Cool. All right. Just compare to see if the boxes are the right sizes. Okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. If you want perfection, this box could be larger and this box could be a little bit larger too. Yeah, I've, I've changed the size of these two boxes to be slightly bigger than the words boxes. I've shifted the words back on top right, and I've also done something else and that is to adjust the size and the position of the title so that I can have some space and included some simple instructions to do the drag and drop. That's all we need to do. Now our drag and drop activity is done. And I really hope that you had fun preparing something like that. Okay, for your student to learn with great joy. The drag and drop is ready for students to play and have fun and learn. So let's just check. Okay, the criteria is there are five words I want to shift to few blanks. Okay, either in the picture or in the paragraph. So I have these five words, I can shift. Now, other things in the page are not movable. So including title, instruction, picture, boxes, anything else not movable. Or click and confirm. There you go. We can send this out to your students. Have fun. How you like that? Please click on the bottom, okay, or this circle here or the wording here to subscribe so that you'll be notified of the future other series of drag and drop. There'll be three more to come. Okay, and um, you can also click on other videos if you want to learn more other things on ad tech. Okay, enjoy, have fun.